What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So I'm gonna check out. Um, ah, damn. I forgot to do the, the thumbnail type shit. I'm gonna have to try to catch it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So I'm gonna check out. Rest in peace to Roman Reigns' father, Sika Noi. Sad news for Pat McAfee. Dom WWE champ and other wrestling news. Um, yesterday. We found out that Roman Reigns' father had recently passed away. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot of people show love and support. Even AEW even uh, sent out a, um, a message on their Twitter, which I thought was very dope uh, to his father. I mean, losing your father is definitely probably a, a really tough situation no matter how old they are that's your father that's someone that brought you into the world and we know that you know his father was part of the wrestling business so um you know it's definitely devastating to hear that sending nothing but prayers and love to the families everyone involved loved ones friends that knew him i mean you know it's it's just an unfortunate thing so we're gonna check this out Appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel. Let's get right into this, man. It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including rest in peace WWE legend and Roman Reigns' father, Sika Anawahi. Incredibly sad news for Pat McAfee. Is Dominic Mysterio a future WWE champion? Is a former WWE name returning to wrestling? Does Goldberg won a WWE Hall of Fame induction? And much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on wrestling. XL. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at rest in peace WWE legend Sika Anawahi. Now there's some incredibly unfortunate news to share as legendary WWE wrestler known as Sika Anawahi has passed away. The news was confirmed by Jaris Anawahi who took to Instagram to pay tribute to his uncle. It's with profound sadness that I share the news of the passing of former Hall of Famer Palavio Liti Sika Anawahi. He passed away peacefully on June 25th. Sika was a celebrated figure whose contributions and legacy have left an indelible mark. His memory will live on through his achievements and the many lives he's touched. He was many things, a hardworking father, a caring brother, a supportive uncle and a proud grandfather. He was a cherished friend to many, a loving family member whose warmth and kindness knew no bounds, and an inspiration to countless individuals. His legacy will continue to inspire and uplift future generations, reminding us of the impact one person's life can have on so many. Rest in love, Uncle Seeker. Our fans will mostly know Seeker for his work in the Wild Samoans tag team, mm -hmm. and he is of course the father of former WWE champion Roman Reigns. We extend our condolences to the Anawahi family for during sure. this difficult time. Next up, sad news for Pat McAfee. There's more unfortunate news to share now and it relates to Pat McAfee. McAfee announced today that during his live show that he missed Raw due to the loss of his father-in-law. My father-in-law oh. passed away unexpectedly after the show ended yesterday in a hospital here in Indianapolis, Indiana. He'd been in the hospital fighting an infection and on hey Friday no. we were told he was probably going to be discharged on Sunday and they had figured it out. We had high hopes and then yesterday as the show was ending, my wife calls me and I have to get to the hospital because there was an emergency. Oh, McAfee damn. continued the heartbreaking story by stating, I head over there what my wife and her mom and her aunt saw go on was her dad being a badass and trying to kick ass and losing his fight in this particular day. Whenever something blindsides an entire family, it can be devastating. My wife is a daddy's yeah. girl. Last night was obviously a difficult night for our family and it was a nice reminder. Thankfully, my wife and her mom and her dad, the last things they said, Bob, who was a great man, was, I love you. Yeah. I feel this was a nice piece of perspective and a nice moment to tell someone you love them. And we also offer our condolences to the McAfee family during this difficult time. Okay, so that's, that's, a, uh, that's the, the real reason why obviously he wasn't at the show. Understandable. He's there being there for his wife. Rest in peace to uh, his father-in-law. Um, that's tough, man. That's a tough one. But he was there for his wife. He had to be there for her. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm sure... It, WWE, I'm glad that they understood what the situation was, but he had to be there for, be, you know, that's what you're supposed to do as a husband. Be there for your wife when she needs you. And obviously she was going to need him in that tough moment. So, yeah, man, I, I hate to see, I hate to hear this, bro. I really do. Time. Next up is Mandy Rose, uh, AEW Bound. 
Now, Mandy Rose had an incredibly controversial exit from WWE. Rose was released from the company for posting adult content on a private site, and since then, Rose has been quiet been when making, it comes to her pro wrestling making ventures. some good money, though. Speaking on a Power sure. Alphas podcast, Rose answered questions from fans, and she was asked about potentially going to AEW. Rose stated that she's undecided if she wants to return to the squared circle, but she has urged fans to never say never when it comes to her potentially wrestling again. Rose had a ton of talent in the ring and she was in the midst of an extended NXT women's title run before her abrupt release. If she does indeed return to wrestling, then either WWE or AEW would be a great fit, but of course a WWE comeback would depend on where WWE currently stand on Rose's adult theme ventures. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure they would want her to let that go because, I mean, it's still a publicly traded company. So, AEW, maybe not so much, but WWE, even still, they're making more and more money, getting more and more investors. They would probably want her to let that go, but once again, she's making more money doing that than actually wrestling, so. Next up is Dominic Mysterio, a future world champion. Since turning heel in 2022, Dominic Mysterio has delivered some of the finest work of his entire career. Mysterio is arguably the most detestable heel in WWE, and Mysterio's legendary father, Rey Mysterio, believes that Dominic could be a future world champion. Speaking on Insight with Chris Van Vliet, this is what the WWE great had to say on the topic. Yeah, most definitely. Dom is getting really good at what he's doing and he's uh -huh. understanding the craft. The fact that he's where he's at with such little time, I could wish I could be there or could have been there for four years of being in the business. Dom is currently in the midst of a popular storyline with mm -hmm. Liv Morgan on the Raw brand, so he certainly has his hands full and doesn't appear to be focused on becoming world champion for the time being. But with that being said, could you see Dominic winning the world title in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. That's been a topic for Dom for quite some time. Could it work? Possibly. Possibly. It just depends on the situation. Obviously... It would, it would probably fit more if he was like money in the bank winner at some point. But I, I don't know. It could work because he is the perfect ultimate chicken shit heel that would do whatever it takes to win and retain. The question is how you set it up. So I'm not opposed to it. It just depends on who's the champion and how it's done. You would have to do this right. Because people already love to boo him. Imagine him being a world champion. Oh my god. The heat he would even get more. Out of this world. So if they do it right. Depending on how they do it. How they set it up. It gotta align with his chicken shit heel nature. He can't just beat somebody clean to get the championship. That's what I'm saying. Next up, does Rey Mysterio plan on retiring? Now, speaking of Rey Mysterio's interview with Chris Van Vliet, one of the main topics of discussion was Mysterio's retirement. Mysterio is turning 50 this year and he's already in the WWE Hall of Fame, yet Mysterio shows no signs of slowing down. In relation to when he plans on hanging up his boots for good, Mysterio revealed, I don't think about it until it's being brought up and when my wife brings that up, that's when I pause. I don't know if I want to do it in another two years, three years. I kind of listen to my body and my mindset, especially my mindset, because my body's been feeling great with all the benefits that I get from doing all the old cold plunge and the sauna. Overall, my mind has to be in the right place, so that's probably the hardest thing for me, because sometimes the age factor comes into my mind, and not in the moment, but thinking ahead like I want to be able to still move around and walk at 55 or 56. Mm -hmm. Is my body going to feel the same? I don't know. But when should Rey Mysterio retire? Let us know in the comments down below. Rey should retire if he once he has one more match with Dominic and Dominic beats him, that's when Rey should probably retire. I don't know when they set that up. I'm sure they will have that set up sometime down the road if plans work out. But that's the only time he should retire is when Dominic beats him. It needs to be a situation like that. Next up is Penta WWE Bound. One of the biggest stories of 2024 so far surfaced when Lucha Libre Online reported that AEW star Penta's contract is coming up between August and September 2024. The report also stated that WWE will potentially be interested in the talented star. Penta was mm. outright asked about the WWE rumors during an interview and Penta had an interesting response to say the least. You know how information can be spread around on social media and how misinterpreted it can get? I don't know how that information about my contract expiring leaked, and I prefer to focus on my present, and my present is currently with AEW. 
if any company like WWE wanted to offer me something, I would need to evaluate because there is a lot of interest on the way. It looks like the current AEW star is keeping his options open, and Penta's contractual status will no doubt be one of the more newsworthy contractual based stories of the calendar year. As he should Next keep up, his did Goldberg want a Hall of Fame induction? We all know that Goldberg has some unusual takes on pro wrestling, and in his latest interview with Busted Open Radio, Goldberg discussed his Hall of Fame induction. In a rather humble moment, Goldberg stated that he felt guilty for accepting the Hall of Fame nod. There's so much of a responsibility on a night like that. I didn't have as much fun as I should have had because I never really lived in the moment. For so many people who have dedicated their lives to the craft, I will always forever feel guilty that I get any accolade. Hmm. Whilst Goldberg is somewhat of a controversial name, there's no debate surrounding his Hall of Fame status. He's one of the biggest names in pro wrestling yeah. history and he's 100% deserved his WWE Hall of Fame induction. And oh, for sure. No, I'm not even, I'll never take that away. It's fucking Goldberg. That's all I got to say. If you grew up watching Goldberg, you know who Goldberg is. It's Goldberg. So I would never say he didn't deserve to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's Goldberg. I'm not a big fan of his later booking when he came back to WWE and what they did. But I will always respect what he was to the wrestling business. He was Goldberg. You can't deny that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why you have so many Goldberg comparisons and contrasts, even to this day, because there was only one Goldberg. Is a former WWE name returning to wrestling? Our final story today takes a look at the possibility of a former WWE name returning to the squared circle. Since her WWE release, Lacey Evans oh. has virtually disappeared from the wrestling world. However, the former main roster star seems to be interested in returning to wrestling in some capacity. Speaking with Carla Peruzzo, Evans was asked about potentially returning to wrestling and this is what she had to say. Yeah, I mean, I love wrestling. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't my passion, but I love the hard hitting action. If there's a company out there that will bring me in to kick ass and get my ass kicked, that's great. But right now we are focused on a lot. We have a lot of investment properties. We invested from all the blessings that WWE has given us. We have a construction company. My husband's a general contractor, okay. which we ran prior to WWE. So we do a lot. We also teach our kids work ethic. We have Airbnbs, we have properties, we have okay. a cafe named after our girls. I homeschool, I take that all very, very all seriously. Right. Now, Evans had numerous pushes in WWE and each one failed to catch fire. Each Evans one. had a decent character and promo work, but it was always clear that wrestling wasn't a true passion. And she's admitted this in numerous interviews since her WWE departure. But there you have it, folks. The world is new. Yeah. If it's not your true passion, you shouldn't be doing it. Like, I get it. You know, you can make some good money from it, cool, but I feel like this is one of those professions, you, it has to be your true passion. It needs to be your true passion because of what you're doing in the ring and the type of emotions and how many people come to see you. Like, they're passionate. The fans that buy the tickets, they're passionate. So it, it makes it better if you're as equally or even more passionate because it, it gives that dynamic in wrestling. But uh, yeah, once again, rest in peace to Roman Reigns' father, uh, Sika uh, Anawai, um, and also Pat McAfee's uh, um, father-in-law. Definitely unfortunate to you know hear, and and we say this all the time, and we we'll always say this, man. You know, enjoy life, enjoy your loved ones, cherish your loved ones, and live every day as if it's truly your last. Don't hold no grudges. Don't have no hate in your heart. Let love fill your heart. Even when people have hate towards you, just pray for them. Wish them nothing but the best because you don't know when your time comes. And I can only send prayers and condolences to both Pat McAfee's family uh, and Roman Reigns and, and their family as well. So, uh, but yeah, comment down below. Let me know some other wrestling videos y'all want me to check out. Appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.